Hi guys, so I know it has been a while, um, again no real excuses for it, just been so busy with work and makeup and doing all that kind of stuff, um, my teeth are really white in this today, um, so I decided to do like kind of a different video today, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a haul, um, but I'm going to do it like kind of vlog style, so it's going to be like a wee bit more relaxed nothing too serious like I'm literally just like lying on my bed so nothing too serious but Morphe brushes did send me an amazing package and it was a wee while ago but the only reason why I only just got to go around to kind of sorting it out and opening it is because I was very very sick um for a few different things I just wasn't very well um, so now I'm feeling back to myself, I'm 100% again, back to work, back to doing everything. So I thought now is the time to finally open all my packages from Morphe and I am so, so beyond excited. So yeah, I thought I would do that today. Um, I have been doing makeup all day, if you can see my wee setup. I just did it in my room from home. Um, have we read Bill? Just do it from home in my room and um, so although it's quite small it suits me perfect for the meantime until I do get something more permanent sorted so yeah I'm gonna set you up somewhere so I can kind of go through my Morphe package show you what goodies I got and I got a lot so it's so exciting um, and yeah I'm just gonna chat through you and just kind of update you and talk through the makeup with you okay so I've completely like makeshifted a uh, kind of stand sort of thing Again, this is just a casual, just to kind of go through everything. Um, because I kind of, I think if I done more videos like this, I would do a lot more videos, more casual, more talk through, not really much editing. Um, it's the whole sitting down and getting everything ready, which is the bit that takes a lot of time and effort. So, yeah, what? Let me know what you think if you like these kind of like talk through, just kind of sitting down, casual, floggy type of videos. Because I would definitely do more of them, like really frequently also got my nails done i don't know if you can see super barbie um so i really really love them i just love anything girly especially because the weather has been so beautiful here so i'm going to talk through so they sent me quite a lot of palettes and also a lot of brushes which i am dying about um, I don't know if I'll go through all of the brushes. I might kind of pick out a few of my favourites because, again, there is a lot and this video is going to end up being so long. But I will talk through all the palettes. So the first palette is the 35W. Oh, nearly dropping it. Okay, so I actually have this one. This, this is a botch up, whatever way I'm showing you. These are the colours. They are super, super pretty. And this palette is a mixture of shimmers and mattes. I think it's gorgeous, especially that orangey colour. Um, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So it's a good palette to have, especially coming into summer, because you do have your peaches, your oranges, your pinks, but you also have some darker colours you can smoke up your look with. So I really, really love that. Um, but I do, again, I already have that one. There is two that I, three that I already have that they have sent me, but... Again, I do love them, so I'm sure I will get through them all. Then there's the 30... I'm making a complete mess of this. 35F. Um, and again, I do have this one. So the whole top row here is all matte and the rest of the palette's all shimmer. Um, I really like this palette, actually, hence why I already bought it before they sent me this. I just think it's really pretty. It's um, It was their fall palette. I think it's like... That's what stands 35F, they're like the fall. I don't really know, I'm making that up, but I think that's what it was. Um, so again, some real whiny colours, just really, really pretty. I love this palette and I really recommend it actually to anybody who's kind of starting out. Um, then I have the 35B, which this is actually a palette that I'm most excited about because it's a palette that I wouldn't normally buy myself. Like, I would never put this in my basket, uh, like, when I'm online shopping and, like, say I definitely need that. But I can see myself using a lot of these colours for festivals. So, this is the palette. Again, it's called the 35B. I am dying about this matte yellow. Like, I cannot wait to use this. I don't have this palette, so I'm so, so excited about it. Again, the pinks, the purples, the blues, the greens. This is, like, the perfect palette 
for festivals, for like for instance St. Patrick's Day when you're on holidays, like a sunset look, you can do a lot with this palette so I'm really excited to use it. In fact I think I'm going to do a look out of it because I would love to use the orange, the corals uh, or the the yellow, the corals, the oranges, even that deeper reddy colour. I think it's just perfect and of course you have your white and your black so you can create a really nice look with this palette. So let me know if you want a quick tutorial on this or even a festival look based on this palette because I would love to do it. Then I have the 35N which is, if I can get it open. Okay so this is the matte palette of the first one that I showed you. Um, I think it was the first one that I showed you. So ones that have matte and shimmer. Um, again with the orange, the purpley colours. This is just the full matte version of it, which I think is good because you can create really, really nice smoky eyes with this. You can create like all different looks. So I think that's a really nice palette also. And last but not least, which this is a palette that I already have, but I'm so excited to have another one because this is quite a hard palette to get your hands on because it is everybody's favourite. The 35O, like can we appreciate this palette like my life in a palette oranges like warm browns that champagne color is like my favorite champagne color ever the oranges that is such like a nice rusty color oh it is just the perfect palette of your gold and all who doesn't love some gold mixed in so i really really love this palette see if you don't have the 35 out of any of the morphe palettes get this one like you will not be disappointed you need this palette um, so I kind of died when they sent me this one because, again, I already have it, but I am flying through it quickly because it is just a perfect palette. So that's all the big palettes done. I'm moving on to the smaller palettes now. This is the 9B Said, which is their bronzer palette. So it looks like this. I'm so excited to use this actually and have like a nice um, kind of shimmery bronze colour which I think will be nice for holiday when you're going to do your bronzer. I always use a matte bronzer but I would probably dust a wee bit of this over it just to give you extra shimmer. So that is what it looks like. I think there's some really really gorgeous colours and there's something to suit everybody which is good because I am a makeup artist. Um, so again, if I wanted to grab a quick palette that kind of had a bronzer that I could mix a few together, I'd definitely grab this one. Then I have the 9B. This is the blusher palette, which again, I really, really love because there is a colour that suits everyone in here. My favourite colour out of this one is this colour up in the corner. Um, but again, the coral and the kind of peachy tone blushes are gorgeous as well. And again, you can use these for eyeshadows. There's no saying... Um, that you just have to use these for blush. You can definitely, definitely use these for eyeshadow. So if that's what you're kind of into, I know I do a lot of pink looks. I do a lot of looks on my clients that are pink. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this. There's even that gorgeous like ready colour. Um, I don't know if you can see. If that'll focus. Probably not. Um, a really nice like kind of ready colour, which I think will be gorgeous in an eyeshadow as well. So yeah, I really, really like that. And last but not for but not least for the palettes, um, this wee guy actually had an accident on the way over here, so it did arrive broken. This is the 9C, it is a contour palette, so it is a bit mucky. Um, this guy up in the corner, the darkest contour shade, it was did arrive broken, um, just from obviously getting handled by the um postman, by the you know, all that kind of stuff. It's expected. Um, but I did repress it so although it looks a wee bit messy it works perfect I can still use that colour and um, luckily it is the darkest colour I don't generally use the darkest colour I would normally stick between these two so it's not all bad Um, there's a gorgeous shimmer colour in here too Um, and again although they are a wee bit mucky from that colour being broken all over them it's they all still work like they're perfect this still works even though I reset it you know a wee bit of rubbing alcohol and it's completely back to normal apart from it kind of doesn't look as pretty but um yeah so I'm so excited to use this because I actually really wanted to pick this one up myself. I then got two of their um loose powders and uh, so I got banana and translucent. I actually haven't used these ones yet because again I wasn't very well so I haven't really got to play with, with much of it. Um, I will open them up now though. 
uh, it is such a nice day over here like it's so warm it's been so nice all week um so that's translucent and that is banana i'm actually really excited to try these they're a different formula than what i have ever tried before they're kind of remind me of the next translucent powder um because i don't know if you can kind of tell but they're so finely milled um which I don't know could be a good thing could be a bad thing I will definitely try it out and I will let you all know on my snapchat so add my snapchat it is karen underscore cole um again snapchat sees the first snapchat sees everything first um and again because I'm I do makeup I put a lot of my makeup looks on snapchat when I'm when I have my clients here I would snap wee photo on snapchat so definitely add my snapchat if you're wanting to kind of keep up to date or just have a nosy like snapchat's perfect for a nosy so then all the brushes like look how many brushes there are like literally um but again i'm not really i'm that now i'm doing my oh oh my god okay i'll maybe separate them like into face brushes and eye brushes um but again i don't even know if i'll be able to hold all the face brushes because there's so my like that's only a few of the face brushes like I cannot deal like see when Morphe contacted me and said they were going to send me some goodies it's like girl you spoiled me like I could not believe it I have never seen this brush before like it's the M500 but it is the softest brush I think I've ever felt in my whole life like I swear to god I absolutely love this it's the softest brush out of all of them um, so yeah I'm going to go through them all kind of quick so I got a lot of the, uh, some of the rose gold collection and um, so all of the rose gold collection begins with R36 so these are the face brushes of the rose gold collection I'm dying about this brush and um, this is the R36 this is the one that Jaclyn Hill uses for her highlight well I'm pretty sure that she uses this for her highlight Um, I have it in just the silver like the silver I can't remember the name of this barrel thing um but the rose gold is so pretty so I'm so excited about that um then you have the R3 the R9 which would be lovely for a cream contour the R14 which I think will be a perfect um contour brush powder contour oh there's a parcel man outside I wonder is anything for me Oh, hello. I have no idea what I've even ordered. Happens all the time. Jenny, if you say like, go online shopping, then like the next minute you're typing in your card details and you can't even remember what you've like ordered. Awful story of my life. Um, and this one is the R8. So again, it's like a, <laughs> it's called a contour brush, but I use it to like bake underneath my contour and like set underneath my contour. So that's all the rose gold collection of the face brushes. I only got two rose gold eye brushes. So this one is the eyebrow brush and it's got the spoolie on the end. This is the R44. I'm so excited about this actually. Sorry, I keep looking out the window because I really want to know if he's bringing something to my house. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Oh no, it's my extra neighbour. Um. And this one is the R39. I already have an R39 um, that I got from BTY in Belfast. But I am so dying that I got another one. So that's all the rose gold collection. I then got some of the... What do you call this collection? MB8. So I think it's like the Morphe Black 8. Because they're the complete black bristles. Um, and the black barrel. I got more eye brushes in this collection this is the only face brush i got out of this collection um which again i'm so excited to use actually for foundation i think it'll be a really nice foundation brush but i did get quite a few eye brushes so i got the mb23 i got the mb18 the mb25 which i think is a really nice brush the mb27 which is a slightly smaller one and the MB11, which I think it will be a really, really nice eyeliner brush. So I got that from the black collection. And then the rest is literally all of their just um, 
normal morphe collection so i'm going to pick a few of my favorites out the this one is actually one of my all-time favorite morphe brushes i use this for bronzer this is the m527 i have three of these brushes already but i find that you can never have too many I'm trying to get it to focus um such a nice brush if you're going to get a brush definitely get that one i love it um i really really like this brush this is the m402 which again I think is so so lovely Um, I think this will make such a nice contour brush I actually ordered one like this off Sigma um, but this one feels nicer so that'll be a test Um, I also got the M530 which I think will be a nice contour brush let me see oh should I just talk you through them quickly sure if you still want to watch just skip skip ahead and um, the M439 the M462 M436 just like a stippling brush M458 which again I would use to set underneath my contour M509 which I have one of these and I use this to wipe like brush away any baking that is done M512 this will focus um anyway and then again the m500 which i love the m529 which i'm excited to try and another m459 so this is very very like the m458 like very very similar um apart from it's a wee bit longer so i'm excited to try them that's all the face brushes completely done. I just can't get over how many brushes they sent me. Like, I'm absolutely loving, loving life. Um, okay, so I have quite a lot of eye brushes. Again, if you don't want to listen, skip ahead. But for now, I'm just going to fly through them. So, the M542, or M524, which is that one. M516, which I think this is the most interesting brush out of all of them. It's like a it's so weird. I love it though. I'm excited to use it. Um, M512. M518. M422. M517. M519. M504, which is one of my favourite blending brushes of all time. I actually find that one that brush gets nicer as you use it like it gets a lot fluffier and as you brush it the m510 which i already have i use this for a really intense highlighter m514 m326 which i love to smoke out liner in the bottom lash line m502 i don't even know if this is focusing but hopefully it is m503 which feels, this brush feels amazing. M505. M333. M513. M433. M412. M508, which again is a nice brush for smoking out the bottom lash line. M506. M507. And last but not least, M515, which I love for inner corner highlight. And I already have one of these, which I love. So, that was a talk and half. That is all the brushes. Oh, I'm dropping everything. These were literally stacked on top of them with like that my camera sitting in that but um yeah that is i've been talking for like 20 minutes now about brushes and about morphe and yeah their team is so nice i literally love them so much like i can't get over how spoiled i am with all the brushes and the palettes that they sent me i'm so so blessed like i don't i don't deserve it like i really don't i'm so so blessed to have all that like crazy um so yeah i thought i would just come on kind of do a chit chat 
Um, my highlight today is Jeffree Star Cream Tot as per usual. My favourite highlight ever. Um, so yeah, um, I still can't believe they sent me all that. Really, really can't get over it. I am just kind of wasting the day until I have my next client. I'm going to go to my nanny and grab this for lunch, then come home, then do makeups, two makeups, and then go to work until 10 tonight. So, really, really long day, busy day, but I love it. Um, yeah, let me know if you like these kind of just turn on the cameras and start talking to you guys because I will do them a lot more. Like, whether I'm just sitting in my room, taking you out in the car, doing running messages, like, I'll, I'll do it a lot more because I know that I have been lacking on videos a lot. Don't have an excuse for it. I'm just a crap person at doing YouTube. Oh, I missed out this brush. The M532. This is like one of my favourite brushes for putting on um, eye primer, eyeshadow primer. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want me to do more of these videos because I will. I can put these up dead fast because they don't take long to edit because it's pretty much like a one cut. I can also do it on my wee handheld camera, which is a lot, lot easier to film on. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this. And if you want to see more, please comment down below. Follow my Snapchat, Karen underscore Cole. My Instagram, Karen underscore Cole. My Twitter, Karen underscore Cole. Um, and yeah. And also, if you want booked in for any makeup appointments, if you do live in Belfast, um, please message my Facebook page, it's Karen Cole Makeup, um, and I can get you sorted for an appointment if you want to come and like chill out with me, get your makeup done, have a good chat. I love meeting all you guys that way. So yeah, let me know. And thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.